Hey, what's going on guys? Round one, back again with another video. I just got through showing one of my friends how to do the whole dissolve shader thing and I thought I'd make a quick video on it. So, um, just a bit of preface. 3.0 model, um, Poyomi V version 6.1, you could use whatever, 7, not sure what your Poyomi is looking like. But as long as it has dissolve, you want to have a dissolve dissolve function on the shader and also this is a you, you've got like a regular toggle set up you're, you're kind of you're in game you know you're just kind of regularly toggling your stuff but you want to make it look fancy you want to add some some flair to it you know boom this is for you all right so first off special effects um, open up special effects go to dissolve make sure it's checked uh, make sure it's point to point um, yeah the the main thing you want to do is make sure your dissolve color your dissolve color can be any color doesn't matter because you're not gonna see it you just want to make sure the alpha is set to zero if the alpha is set to zero you're actually gonna get some dissolving boom you're in business all right dissolve noise um, not sure if this exactly matters I haven't really messed around with it, but I have mine set to T noise number 19. It's been working for me pretty well. The detail noise though, this one sort of matters if you're trying to be like, d depending on what, what effect you want. Like if you want this effect, um, this will look, look different. Um, you want this effect, this looks w really weird. Wow, I do not like that at all. Oh my gosh. There, sure, something like this, okay. Or whatever, whatever you're trying to go for. Maybe hey, this one looks kind of cool. Sure, I'll, I'll leave it on this one, okay. Now, um, alpha zero, you see your shirt, alpha one, shirt gone, all right. So, first things first, you got your, you got your, your regular toggles, you got your regular vest off, vest on toggles. Okay, you got that already set up. Now we're gonna create vest up here. We're gonna create vest disappear. Okay. Now your vest appear. Now remember we're working in the directly on your character shaders. Okay, that's how you can get these animations down. You don't want to be working in the material itself work on your actual character shader okay so I'm currently in the vest down here if your vest isn't its own separate thing well actually hmm it should be its own separate thing because if you're trying to toggle it if you're able to toggle it it'll be its own thing okay <laughs> now you're gonna want to hit record and because it's vest up here you want to start on one go to 10 seconds, these are going to be 10 second animations, and then from here go down to zero. Now also, because this is appearing, just to keep some kind of, some weird things from happening from the, uh, the toggle off to appear uh, functions, you also want to um, make sure you toggle is active at one second, make sure at zero seconds inactive one second active and then at 10 seconds still active okay so let me go over that again zero seconds inactive one second active 10 seconds active okay this is just like a little sort of minutia thing but it'll help things look look better in the long run um make sure you don't run into any hiccups okay so that's a peer Go to disappear. You're gonna do the same thing, just backwards. So here you're gonna start on zero, go to 10 seconds, drag to one. And also remember, have this checked to on. Same here. So for your zero frame, checked active zero 
10 second frame, check the active one, okay? You got that, and you're done with your animations there. Now, go on your animator. You've already got your, your standard vest toggle, shirt toggle, whatever you're trying to toggle set up. Delete these arrows. Go into your, you wanna drag in up here, disappear. I like to set it up into like a sort of diamond. It helps me visualize it better. Then uh, make your transitions. Now, something you want to do is uh, something I've I've run into some problems with is having loop time. This just makes sure, regardless of the transition length, uh, your animations won't loop, which is something we don't want is looping. So get rid of that. Uh, also go through them all, um, uncheck right defaults, just, just cause, you know, just, I don't know why, just don't do it, maybe, maybe you can have it, it probably doesn't exist, it probably doesn't like, really do anything, whatever, okay, <laughs> so set up your conditions, vest toggle, set this equal to uno, vest off, set this equal to zero okay these two have conditions these two do not have conditions with these two what you want to do go into your settings set the transition duration equal to zero if there's a transition offset set that also equal to zero do that for both of these now Zero, zero, of course. Now, next step, because we made both of these 10 second animations, they're gonna be going by extremely quick. Set the speed from one to 0 0.05, so that way you'll get like a, a nice effect. And depending on your preference, you know, you can speed it up, slow it down, however you wanna do it. And, um, yeah, this sh this should just work, unless I, of course, unless I, I mess something up, but it should work. Let's, let's test it out. So, in the scene, go to my parameter, best toggle, change it to one, sure dissolves, change it to zero, sure it comes back, cool. All right, guys, well, hopefully it worked for you guys. If you guys running ran into any problems, uh, drop some questions down below. Let me know how it goes. Uh, I'll be dropping, like, some basic toggle setup video in the future. Um, just in case it's kind of out of order, but... Whatever, this, this was just on my mind. Decided to drop a video on it. Thanks for watching. Uh, catch you guys later.